I watched, you know, there's, I've watched a lot of guys come in behind their dads and struggle. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that came in behind their dads and made it, but there's a lot of guys that didn't. And, uh, you know, my dad put up some pretty steep numbers, and so I knew that that was going to be a challenge um, trying to, ha you know, feel any kind of self-worth and um, – be you know doing well enough you know to 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 satisfy people you know so um and i you know i hated working for a living i didn't want to work for a living so i was hoping that um it you know when I, the way i thought this is silly but the way i thought in 97 was man if i could get into an xfinity car and i could win you know win just one race what do I need to do just to keep, you know, just to say, you know, I think that's enough to, to keep me around. And so when we, when I started, when I won my first few races in Xfinity Series, I thought, well, all right, you know, that's, I'll be able to keep a job in this sport for a while because of this little bit of success I've had. I didn't, um, I didn't come in there, I didn't come here to be the most popular guy. I didn't come in here thinking that I was going to win seven championships. I just wanted to uh, be able to do it, you know. I didn't want to flame out in two years and be gone and have to, you know, have to work, honestly. So, um, you know, I, I just wanted to be able to make a living doing it. It's turned out to be much, much more than that for me. And so when I, every time I win a race, it's a surprise to me. And, uh, you know, any time we did anything really big, like win the Xfinity Series championships or the Daytona 500s, it was, a, it was just, uh, even to this day, it's hard for me to believe that it happened to me.